Hello Gemini, welcome to your reading. This is for the um, 19th to the 26th of August. Uh, we're going to pull up three cards from the Angel Tarot and we'll clarify it with the Smithwaite Tarot. Let's see. Let's get your first card for Gemini. Alright. Second card. Alright. So, we have the Ten of Water. I'm glad. Um, ten of water. Okay, don't fall down. Ten of water, we have the emperor and the five of earth. Okay. Alright. So let's clarify the ten of water. It says a contented and rewarding family life. Your emotional and material needs are met. Trustworthy relationship. That's very good. Um, let's clarify. First card, second card, third card. All right, so I have three of wands. I have king of wands and the ten of pentacles. I mean, can you imagine that you have the ten of water and you have the ten of wands? So I think it's going to be amazing this week for you, Gemini. There's not going to be a problem with money or feeling lonely it's just going to be ecstatic and feeling great about yourself and i see you as the king of wands here um you're a hard worker you're a hard worker um you like ro rocks to riches kind of and you're waiting for something here it's it could be you or another energy but someone is waiting this person is committed to you um you may be with this person for quite some time you may have kids or pets together and they're waiting for an answer from you and if i feel like they've sent you messages already and um they're waiting for you to answer and i feel like this whole situation here of you know um having the ten of water and the king of wands i feel like there's an energy of you know giving your best to one another here gemini and being at your best and you know giving it your best <laughs> giving it your all in this relationship not really looking for reciprocating that energy it's like unconditional love all right so the five of earth talks about fear surrounding money the wisdom to accept help from others uncertain self-employment so again this may be an energy from last week where you're feeling inadequate you're feeling like you're not good enough um you're not having this uh, good self-esteem here all right so let's um get to two more cards please for gemini You know, there's Mercury retrograde, so that could be, like, feeling murky or something. But we have the Empress, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Four of um, Wands. Like, you're getting the Five of Earth over there, but you have the Empress. And this is the symbol of ultimate abandon, abundance, money flow. And you even have the Queen of Pentacles. And this, you know, same energy as the Empress. And the Empress is like guided by your angels. You're on a mission here. You have um, supernatural powers. <laughs> I mean, like you can you could be psychic. Like you're you're connected to your divine, your spiritual. And I see you opening doors here with the four of ones. And this could talk about marriage, engagement, celebration of some kind. It could be getting pregnant. I do see so much energy about being fertile and just, um, you know, the spring of joy and being nurturing and taking care of a baby, some kind of a baby, whether that be a pet or um, a human being. So let's clarify the emperor. And the emperor is the counterpart of the empress. So there's so much high energy here like everything you could ask for whatever level you are in your life right like you know um i have everything i want and needed right and uh, let's clarify the emperor card here three cards please one two three okay so we have um eight of Okay. All right. So the emperor. Okay. Um, eight of cups, king of cups, 
and the seven I mean the six of swords okay um, the Emperor talks about stability of course organization and logic structure and discipline leadership could be the Leo energy here um, could be a timeline again and um, th it says it's about the eight of cups and eight of cups is tur turning your back away from something that doesn't serve you um, there may be p uh, people telling you what to do or they're giving you so much options or it could be in your head that you have so many options in your head and you're, you're turning away from that and you're looking for something practical something that is present something that you can touch something tangible that c you can work with what you have and I feel like you're balancing these emotions um, these triggers and you're walking away from um, from a turbulent water to a calm one so you're um, you could be going on a vacation you're old you're just you know getting rid of social media or anything that doesn't give you peace of mind peace of heart heart and that's just amazing and I feel like you're being an emperor in dealing with these issues that could be confusing for most people and you're walking away from it and you're balancing your emotions which is very commendable and admirable and that's what I have for you Gemini thank you for watching I'll talk to you next time bye